We have a brand new version of AutoGen Studio that just dropped. It has new features, expanded functionality, and we're gonna build something for the real world. And this video is gonna be a little different. I haven't built this agent team myself yet, so you're gonna build it with me and you're gonna see my mistakes. Let's get into it. The team we're gonna be building today is gonna to take a YouTube URL, grab the transcript for it, and then convert that transcript into a compelling blog post and a tweet thread. This is something that I need. It's a real world use case and we're gonna build it together. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is install AutoGen Studio from scratch. Now, I had an older version of AutoGen Studio and then when I went to upgrade to the newer version of AutoGen Studio, everything broke. And I kept getting all these database issues and errors and it was just a nightmare. And what finally fixed it was uninstalling AutoGen Studio with this command, pip uninstall AutoGen Studio. And not only that, I actually had to go into my Python site packages and manually delete the AutoGen Studio folders. So if you run into any issues while upgrading to the new AutoGen Studio, be sure to do that. And I already made a beginner tutorial about AutoGen Studio. I'll drop a link to that in the description below. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a new Conda environment. Conda create dash n ag python equals 3.11, hit enter. So I already have an existing environment, we are going to remove it. And then accept, we're gonna install everything we need. Then we're gonna grab this command right here, Conda activate ag, paste it in, hit enter. And now we know the environment is active because it's right there. Next, we're gonna install AutoGen Studio. And this is super simple, pip install AutoGen Studio, then just hit enter. Now once you're done with that, we're gonna run AutoGen Studio, UI dash dash port 8081, and you can specify any port you want. Sometimes if you close AutoGen Studio in the wrong way, it'll say this port is busy, and then you just change it to 8082 or 8083 or anything that you want. So I'm gonna hit enter on 8081, and there is that issue. So I closed down port 8081 in the wrong way last time, so here is the error that you will see. So we're gonna change that to 8082 now and now it works. I'm gonna hold down command and I'm gonna click on this URL to open up localhost in my browser. All right, and here it is, the newest version of AutoGen Studio. So what is different about it? If you go to the build tab, you'll see we have new tabs over here. For one, we have this models tab. Now you can predefine different models to use with your agents and you can mix and match as you want. You can have specific models tailored for specific agent use cases. It is brilliant. So here you can see we have GPT-4, GPT-4 Preview, and the bloke's Zephyr 7B Alpha. If you wanted to add a new model, we'll go do that right there, but we don't need to do that. We're gonna be using ChatGPT-4 today, and we're gonna actually be using this preview version. The other thing that's new, and I'll get to it in a second, is the fact that you can have agent teams greater than just two agents. In the previous version, you could only have two agents, a sender and a receiver. Now you can have agent groups where you can group together multiple agents in addition to your user proxy. Now I haven't tested this yet. I'm hoping it works, but if it doesn't, you're gonna see it. So switch over to OpenAI. If you don't already have an account, go ahead and sign up, come to the API keys section. We're gonna create a new key. I'm gonna call it AutoGen Studio, hit enter. And it's asking me to verify that I'm a human. So this is something I'd usually cut out of the video. Use the arrows to rotate the object to face in the direction of the hand. Interesting. All right, verification complete. All right, now I'm gonna copy this. Yes, I am gonna revoke this API key before publishing the video. I know you all are sick of hearing me say that, but if I don't, I get a bunch of comments about not showing my API key. So we'll come back to AutoGen Studio. We're gonna click on this model right here, and then we're gonna enter our API key. I don't believe we need to do anything else for GPT-4. Everything else should stay the same because the ChatGPT API is the default. Then we'll hit enter. Model created successfully. Now, the first thing we wanna do is create a skill. And the skill that I need created today is a function to go grab the transcript from a YouTube video. Now, how would I go about writing that? I'm actually gonna use ChatGPT to write it for me. Now, just to make sure it is in the format that is similar to something I already know works, I clicked over to the skills tab, I'm looking at this fetch profile skill, clicking into it, and this is pretty similar where you pass in a URL and it goes and gets something. So this is probably what I'm gonna to want to do something similar to. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. I switched over to ChatGPT, 
I'm gonna paste it in and then under it, I'm gonna say, here's an example script, make something similar to this, but instead make it accept a YouTube URL as a parameter. It goes and gets the transcript from the URL via the YouTube API and then returns the transcript. So let's see what we get. Okay, so it looks like this method is going to accept a video URL. So that's right so far, giving me some documentation, that's fine. It's gonna extract the video ID from the URL, that looks good. Okay, and it's gonna use the Google API's YouTube API, so hopefully this works. We'll see, we might need to iterate on this if it doesn't work. I've seen another method written for this exact use case to go grab the transcript and it was a little bit different from this, so I don't know if it's gonna work. Okay, so this one says the YouTube data API requires an API key which you can obtain from the Google Cloud Console. So this is different, I don't wanna have to do that. Let's try again. Show me another way to do it that doesn't require an API key there should be a YouTube API that you can hit directly. Okay, and this looks more akin to what I saw when I did it last time. So it's using this library called YouTube Transcript API, and hopefully it's able to do it just with that. And it says I need to install the YouTube Transcript API with pip, but I'm gonna try it without that. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the code. And I believe Autogen Studio, when I paste this in, will automatically know that it needs to install that library. So I copied it, switch back to Autogen Studio. We're gonna create a new skill. I'm gonna call it Fetch YouTube Transcript. I'm gonna take what's in here, which is a sample, I'm gonna delete it. Then I'm gonna paste in what I just had. It has an example of how to use it at the bottom. I might as well leave that in. And then I'm gonna hit okay. So that's done. So now we have our model, and our skill created. Now let's create an agent. We have our primary assistant and our user proxy, but I wanna create an agent team. And the agents that I want are, one, I want an agent to go and get the YouTube transcript and remove the timestamps and then return it. The second agent I want is to take that text and then convert it into a blog post and into a Twitter thread. Let's see if we can do that. So I'm gonna click new agent, the agent name, I'm gonna call it transcript getter for the description takes a YouTube URL and gets the transcript from a video. I'm gonna say max consecutive auto reply, just leave it as the default. Human input mode, never. And then the system message. This is where I believe we need to actually tell it which tool to use. You are an AI agent that uses the fetch YouTube transcript skill to get a YouTube transcript for subsequent processing. We're gonna be using this model. Now, if you wanted to add a different model, you do so right here. Now here for the skills, this is where we need to add our skill. So I go ahead and click plus. Here we go, fetch YouTube transcript. I'm gonna go and say add skill, and there it is. Then I click okay. So now we have our transcript getter. Then let's create our second agent. And this one is gonna be content writer. Takes raw YouTube video transcripts and converts it into blog posts and tweet threads. Max consecutive auto reply stays the same. Human input mode, never. Now for the system message, you are an insightful, intelligent, and witty content writer who is able to take raw YouTube video transcripts and turn them into blog posts and tweet threads. We do not need a skill for this guy. And we're gonna leave the model the same as before. So now we have our two agents right there. Now the last thing we need to do is create a workflow. So we'll click over to workflows, and we're gonna click new workflow. Now this is something new. Previously, when you clicked workflow, it just automatically opened up and you can only have two agents. Now you can have two agents and you can also do this thing called group chat. So we're gonna use group chat because we're gonna have three agents, the content writer, the YouTube scraper, and then the user proxy. So we're gonna hit group chat. We're gonna call this YT script to content workflow description. So we're gonna say takes a YouTube URL, gets the transcript of the video, and then creates a blog post and tweet thread from that transcript. Summary method we're gonna leave as last, which is the default. The sender is gonna be the user proxy, and then the receiver is gonna be the group chat assistant. But we need to fill out the group chat assistant. So go ahead and click into it. Now we have two primary assistants here. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete both of those, and we're gonna add the content writer, and the transcript getter. I'm gonna keep it the same name. I'm gonna leave the description default. And then for the system message, I'm gonna be very descriptive. Okay, I'm being very explicit here. I actually don't know if you need to be that explicit in the system message, because typically a system message, you're just setting up the role. You're telling the agent who to behave as, not necessarily describing what you want them to do, which we will likely do again when we actually submit the prompt. You are a helpful assistant skilled at, okay, coordinating spelled wrong, 
coordinating a group of other assistants to solve a task. The task you will solve is taking a YouTube URL, having an agent use the fetch YouTube transcript skill to get the transcript from the YouTube video, pass that transcript to a content writer, and then having the content writer create a blog post and tweet thread based on that transcript. Now it's interesting, the group chat manager also can take a skill, and I don't think we need to give it a skill because the agent itself has the skill. We'll find out. Ah, and here's a bug that I've noticed. So if you remember, I, I removed these primary assistants and I added other assistants. But when I start typing, it reverts back to these primary assistants. So remember, fill out everything first and then modify your group agents. So I'm gonna delete these again and I'm gonna add the content writer back and the transcript getter. And then we're gonna hit okay and okay again. Let's double check that it actually does have the correct agents. So I'm gonna click here, click there and it does, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna get out of here and let's test it out. I hope it works. We're gonna to go to the playground. We're gonna click new session and we're gonna select YT script to content and then hit create. So here we go. Take this YouTube URL and I paste it in one of my YouTube videos. Use the fetch YouTube transcript skill to get the transcript from the YouTube video. Remove the timestamps if any, then create a blog post and tweet thread based on that transcript. Now. The one thing that's kind of difficult about Autogen is it doesn't have explicit delegation options. I can't explicitly say this group chat agent should delegate to the content writer or the YouTube transcript getter. You can't do that. And I think we just have to be extra explicit in our descriptions to get it to work that way. All right, enough talk. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we got an error and it said that the API key is not there, which is interesting. So I'm gonna go back to build, I'm gonna go to models, here it is, and it is there. Let me see what that message is one more time. So I click here and I'm just gonna say retry. So the API client option must be either set by passing environment variable. Okay, that's weird. I don't understand why I have to set the environment variable since I have it set in the model right there, but that's okay. We're gonna do it anyways. So I'm gonna switch back to the terminal. I'm gonna to go to a new tab and I'm gonna type, then I'm gonna do conda activate AG. Then I'm gonna type export open AI API key and then equals and then the API key and then hit enter. Okay, so it should be done. Now, I think I have to restart Autogen Studio. So I'm gonna do that. So I come here and I'm gonna click control C. Okay, now we're gonna restart it. There it is. I'm gonna go back to Autogen Studio now. I'm gonna refresh the page. Gonna go to playground and let's click retry. Nope, let's try that again. I'm gonna quit out of here again and I'm gonna do export, then the API key one more time and then we'll start it up and let's refresh the page and let's see if it worked that time. It did, okay. So for some reason going into a new tab made it so that it didn't actually see the API key, which is weird. So just keep that in mind if you run into that issue. Now we can tell it's working because we can see these three dots bouncing right there. So switching over to the terminal, I can actually see the code and the back and forth between the agents as it's going. So it is saying, yes, use the fetch YouTube transcript skill. So that's good. And it does know to install the YouTube transcript API. Now, one thing to note is that in Autogen, it doesn't actually show you the back and forth conversation. I do know that there's an open ticket to make it do that so you don't have to look at the terminal while it's going. But here it is. So there, it got the YouTube transcript. That's perfect. Okay, it's done. Look at that. All right, so here it is. Let's take a look at what we got. So here's the code output. Okay, we got all that, that's great. Let's look at the actual agent messages. So the user proxy says, take this URL, so that's me typing. Take the URL, use the fetch YouTube transcript skill, get the transcript, remove the timestamps, create a blog post and a tweet thread. Then the transcript getter to the content writer is actually saying to accomplish this task, we will follow these steps. So the transcript getter is actually planning out what we need to do. The transcript getter also installed everything we needed, writes a Python script to use that skill that we gave it. And then here it is. So here is the actual transcript from the video. And then interestingly, it didn't give us anything after that. So it didn't actually output it. Okay, so interesting. For some reason, it didn't actually output the final blog post and tweet thread in the UI itself. However, if I switch over to terminal, here it is. Here's a suggested structure for the blog post. And then it actually writes the blog post. And this is pretty good. And then we have a tweet thread. So here's tweet one, tweet two, uses emojis, uses hashtags. I mean, this is great. 
Now, the one thing I don't understand is why it didn't actually output that information into here, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to solve that in this video. We do know it worked though. So that's it. Now you know how to use the new version of Autogen Studio. You know how to create a skill for your agents to use. You know how to assign that skill to the right agent. You know how to create the agent team and you know how to execute the task. And it did so pretty darn well. I'm happy with this result. If you wanna see me create more of these tutorials with real world use cases, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.